Hey, thanks for having me. I've been home from Afghanistan for about 10, 12 days now. Uh, spending a few days in California, getting reacquainted uh, with like our getting our unit back uh, home safely, and then uh, take some leave with the uh, family, and then uh, you know a, a few drinks with the friends back home. So it's good to be home. I went to uh, Fairfield Prep in Connecticut, and then I uh, went to the Naval Academy. So I went one year at the Naval Academy Prep School, four years at the Naval Academy, and then uh, from the Naval Academy transitioned to being a commissioned officer. Uh, eventually went to the Marine Corps and then uh, done a tour in Iraq and a tour in Afghanistan with the Marines and uh, home now visiting the family. Uh, you know I knew that we had kind of had a special kid um, just watching him play and how he carried himself. And so as a sophomore goalie I think having a strong senior class in terms of character and you know just great lacrosse players I think that's what set me up for success and it kind of you know uh, created the groundwork on how I wanted to be you know, uh, an upper-class lacrosse player in terms of how I played the game and then how, you know, I influenced the younger guys. I think Matt was really the, you know, the, the one that kept us all together there and, and uh, you know, couldn't be happier for that group of kids and Matthew was a, a really big part of it. Growing up, uh, watching my, uh, actually my dad refed a lot of hockey games and he would bring me to West Point and I would go there and I would see the cadets walking around in their uniforms and see them with rucksacks on and so it kind of got me thinking as a very young kid about the military life and uh, and the uh, Navy came after me a little bit and uh, you know I looked more into it and decided didn't know what I wanted to do exactly but I knew I wanted to serve and be uh, be in the military so I knew that was the right route for me I mean it was uh, it was just a, a plus that Navy lacrosse had a great lacrosse team. Matt was very competitive I mean he's a very competitive guy he had very high expectations of what he wanted Coach Mead gave me an opportunity to go in against North Carolina, and uh, I never looked back. And uh, I mean, that was probably maybe my fondest memory of college across. I think the, the thing I reflect upon about that year was how competitive he was and how supportive he was when he didn't get what he wanted. Uh, and I think that's a trait that has followed Matt throughout his life and certainly into his career as a Marine. Lacrosse, I mean, uh, it, and like any other Division One sport, you know, uh, I don't think unless you play it, people don't understand how hard you push to be great. And um, just like military training, no one's going to ever understand unless they do it, you know, how hard it is to be great. So you take those same skill sets, you, uh, you know, you learn on a high school field, uh, just working hard, you know, working harder than the next guy. Uh, you know, never cheating, you know, always making sure that, you know, you hit the line when you touch it on wind sprints and you beat the guy to the left and right of you. It's the same stuff that just carries through life. On the field, we see the characteristics of leadership, you know, um, guys that take control of, of situations that, you know, whether it's want the ball on their stick at the end of the game or make a big, you know, in Matt's case, make a big save, that kind of transcends into that, uh, you know, that, that type of athlete that we've, that, I've been fortunate enough to coach here. Matt really represents what Fairfield Prep is all about, about being men for others. And we're going we're gonna to ship a package of either a shirt or um, of either a shirt or shorts overseas to each soldier in his, in his troop company. We're going to make an effort this spring to um, uh, acknowledge the guys that have played in our program that have fought for our country. I'll tell you, I, I stopped by lax.com earlier and was talking about, you know, my connection and what Fairfield Prep meant and, you know, how that developed uh, into who I am today. And, uh, you know, thinking it was, it was pretty simple on, on kind of the, the connection there. It was from my Fairfield Prep days being kind of a, uh, you know, a, a, a leader, a community service. You know, now I'm giving back to my country, have, you know, Fairfield Prep giving back to the community. It was the uh, same thing, got to be a captain at the Naval Academy, and it was just looking out for one another. And uh, I'll tell you, 90% of my leadership and character experiences came through the lacrosse field. It was a great experience, giving back to them and like showing them that people at home still care about what they're doing and how great it is. Because they give so much, and I feel that we have to give back to them for all the sacrifices they've made and everything they've done for us. It's great just for everyone to know that like even when you leave you're still a huge part of the team and still like in everyone's hearts. These guys are men for others. You know, they have they, they possess the characteristics uh, that will allow them to succeed in anything in life. 
we as a team just wanted to show that we cared and we supported everything he did in fighting, being a soldier in Iraq. We just wanted to give something back to him and show that you know we're, we're always thinking of him and everything he's doing overseas. It's great to come back and give back to a program that, um, that gave a lot to me. I mean, uh, so when guys would come back and teach Fairfield Prep, I remember how big of an influence they had on me. Uh, our coaches uh, like Doug Steele and stuff like that, just guys that were five, six years removed and they seemed so wise and you know whatnot. I'm not saying I'm wise at all because I, I got a lot to learn, but it is great to come back and give a little perspective. And uh, I think as a high school guy and a college guy, you, you, you notice how much of an influence kind of older guys have, whether you want to admit it or not. Uh, you know, it's kind of cool. It, uh, again, when I was working out in Afghanistan, uh, one of my jobs was basically moving surgical units, like emergency doctors, orthopedic surgeons, right on the edge of combat zones. Uh, so as an operation was about to happen, we'd strategically place these guys to be on the edge of the battlefield. So if guys got hurt, we could get them to that first kind of, uh, you know, stop the bleeding, then get them a higher level of care. Well, one of the guys they came across was a lacrosse player. And what do you know, he happened to be kind of my mentor out there, because who am I, 27-year-old captain in the Marine Corps, to say how should I move doctors and surgeons around the battlefield. So again, it was that connection uh, on the lacrosse field that kind of brought us together. And uh, I tell you what, you know, hopefully it saves some lives out there because you know I, he was kind of into my ear as my mentor, and I'm sure you guys will pick up on that. Anything that's sent overseas that is um, that speaks of home or appreciation is appreciated. Uh, I don't think it takes much. I mean, I don't think we can ever understand what they've done or really, really appreciate it. I think the only way to really help them is to support them. So I would ask, ask that question, what do you do every day to support a veteran?